This weekend was a free day weekend because Monday was President's Day. I played a lot of video games, including Mario vs. Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. The new Donkey Kong game made me want to play another game that had Donkey Kong as a main character. He was also a playable character. I don't remember the last time I played the game before Saturday, but I do know it had been a long time. The funny thing is, back when I wrote my road trip journal in the summer of 2021, I said that I played Tropical Freeze after so long and now I don't even remember if I played it last year. It feels so good to be back this year and I decided to not worry about getting all the collectibles before moving on. I also watched a new show with Zoe on Saturday and it's called Jesse. It's similar to Wizards of Waverly Place and some of the actors came from Daredevil and Be Kid such as Payson List and Karen Brar. Their characters also look similar to the characters they played in Wimpy Kid. One character's name was Emma, and she competed with someone named Preston. They both had the same names of people I met at summer camp. Today was a special day, not just because I had an extra day off, but I decided to work on math at home. At first, I wasn't motivated to do it, since I had a lot of stuff I wanted to do on the weekend, but having an extra day at home helped me. I was stuck on a certain problem for a long time, which was to find the coordinates of point B with only point A and the midpoint being shown to me. After a couple of days, I finally figured out how to solve it. I took a screenshot of an explanation to help me. I also achieved something I haven't done in Khan Academy for a long time. I got all the answers correct in an exercise. I got a proficient score for the first time in this math unit, and I got two familiar skills before. As they say, third time's a charm. In the afternoon, we went to a YMCA and we met Emily, who is Mrs. Neff's daughter. I have an appointment with Mrs. Neff every Monday and Friday, and we played a game called Mastermind, which we started playing on Friday. I also completed the darker side of the moon in Super Mario Odyssey as soon as I unlocked it. Before, I completed it after collecting all the other power moves in the game, so it was interesting playing the final level and still having a lot more to do after that. There is one main difference. The next objective isn't to collect more power moves anymore. Your next objective is nothing at all. That's right, I'm now free to do whatever I want without the game guiding me in a certain direction. Oh, and did I mention that I completed the darker side without dying once? I did that. Last week was a very special week with so many exciting days. I hope there is more excitement planned for this week. Here we go. If you thought Monday was a great day for my math unit, yesterday was even better. I took my first quiz and I leveled down on some skills. When I retried the geometric definitions exercise, I got a proficient score. As I retried the quiz, I finally figured out how to solve a problem with the distance formula without using the grid. I also got 100% on the first quiz, which was much better than a 40% on my first attempt. I also got a proficient score on all the skills I learned so far. I haven't seen Sarah since Thursday and I got to see her again yesterday. I asked her why she wasn't there on Friday and she said she had an appointment. She also had current events since Miss Reneva wasn't there. In the car, I heard that Dad signed me up for the dance on March 9th. I made a countdown to it on Saturday after I finished my Mario vs. Donkey Kong countdown. At the rec center, I saw Mr. Casey at the front door. In the main room, I saw Miss Haley, Cindy, and Maxwell, and I showed them last week's journal. I also saw Miss Claire, but she left at 3 o'clock. I showed Cindy my Wayside School is Falling Down book, and I also showed her my yearbooks. Cindy also showed me her yearbook from her senior year at high school during the 2020 through 2021 school year. 
It's amazing how she graduated very recently, and I said she was fresh out of high school. I looked at some of the pictures, and Cindy also showed me her picture in the yearbook. I saw that Matthew got a haircut, which was a coincidence since I got my haircut yesterday. I heard that he got his haircut over the weekend. I also did math on Duolingo after my haircut, which I haven't done in a while. We did an activity where we had to write down what we want, what we have, and what we let, can let go of. I had trouble thinking about what I want since I love what I already have. We went to a gym and we did a balloon toss. I remember doing this at the gym on the first day of summer camp and we called it Keep It Up. We tried to do it while saying each letter of the alphabet and we also tried to keep two balloons in the air at the same time. I also saw a third balloon that was deflating and I could barely see the hole. It's amazing how one tiny hole can deflate a balloon into what it was before you blew it up. I also told Cindy about how it's better to do things one at a time in a video game compared to trying to do everything before moving on. Back in the main room, we made cardboard fish and had trouble naming it at first, but I eventually came up with a great one. This was a similar experience to naming the horse in Breath of the Wild. I thought of calling my fish pizza since London named his fish after his favorite food, BBQ. Cindy suggested pish since that's a combination of pizza and fish. Eventually, I came up with Pete Zeech, which sounds a bit more like pizza. We put our stuff in the office and I saw the third volunteer at the fit and motion class. Her name was Ava and I told her there's someone named Ava who goes to my school. We walked and talked on a track and we hung out downstairs. I saw Cindy write stuff down in Monday's form and I caught her in time since it was Tuesday. Sometimes when I have an extra day off, it feels like Tuesday should be Monday and Wednesday should be Tuesday. Hopefully today will be an even better day. On my way to school, I started listening to a VeggieTales VBS Ultimate Playlist. It was released on June 30th last year and I found it on July 1st, but I didn't listen to it until yesterday. I also found that you can get a different number of points based on your performance on a Khan Academy scale. At the Champions program, I got a special surprise. I thought I saw someone new, but then I noticed something familiar about her. A couple seconds later, I realized it was Emma! It had been two months since I saw her on FaceTime and six months since I saw her in person on the last day of summer camp. I talked to her about what games I played after summer camp, including Mario Plus Rabbids, Kingdom Battle, Sonic Frontiers, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Sonic Superstars, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I remember December 19th when I said I hoped for another chance to talk to her, and it finally came. I also said that I had until January 1st to say I saw Emma this year, and now I can say I've seen her this year in 2024. She only stayed until snack time, but before she left, I showed her last week's journal. She said she liked my footnotes. I wish she could see all my other journal entries, and I wonder if she subscribed to my YouTube channel. When she said goodbye to us, she said she'll be back in time. I was so excited to see Emma six months later that I forgot to mention everyone else there. I saw Mr. Casey, Miss Talia, Cindy, Robert, Olivia, and Miss Claire. I predicted I'd see Cindy yesterday, and I was right. We wrote down things we should compost and things we should recycle. We played a game, but I forgot what the name of the game was or what we did in the game. I also want to tell you that Abby got to see Emma again. She repeated her name every so often, but Robert or Mr. Keith would say she was in Richmond. I would also like to combine certain names sometimes. For example, Miss Haley would be Maley, Miss Talia would be Malia, Miss Emma would be Memma, and Miss Claire would be Moir. We made a thank you card for the people who sent us the Valentine's Day cards. I put a flower on the front and said, Happy spring. Wow, this winter flew by fast, especially since the groundhog didn't see his shadow on February 2nd. We walked and talked on a track, and I forgot to mention something that we talked about at this time on Tuesday. 
Even though Cindy started working in January, she applied in December. She also had another job as a pizza delivery woman. On Saturday, she delivered pizza to someone at Cullen Road, and she said she'll take a picture of it and show it to me next week. Back in the main room, I showed Cindy Chapter 3 of Waste High School Gets a Little Stranger. The teacher said, My name is Mrs. Brazil, and I'm not from Brazil. It was interesting reading this to someone from Brazil. I showed her some more chapters, and I saw Miss Micah, Miss Jamia, and Mr. Nick from summer camp. Mr. Keith also came into a room for a little bit, and he said he'd see me today before he walked out. I saw a lot of people in one day, and I knew a lot of them from summer camp. Dad picked me up and picked up some fries and nuggets from Chick-fil-A. We also went to a roller skating rink where Zoe had a birthday party on July 6th. I remember since one of the widgets on Dad's phone showed me a picture of a birthday party on that date. We didn't go into a main room, but it felt good to be there in February. Hopefully I'll have another great day today. Yesterday, I had trouble with a certain math problem, and I didn't get anything done. Hopefully I'll figure it out soon. I also found a new channel by Nico BBQ. It was called 30 Fun Facts when I found it, and now it's called Nico's Fun Facts. I was kind of hoping he would rename the channel so that we know it's from Nico BBQ. At the rec center, I saw Robert, Mr. Keith, Cindy, and Grace. Cindy was there for five camp days in a row, but she won't be there today. At least I know I'll see her again next week. I tried to make the most of my time with her by showing her a lot of chapters from Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger. We ate snacks and we played Silent Hangman. Instead of shouting out letters, we wrote them on our whiteboards and held it up in the air. We played a game outside and then we walked a couple laps on the sidewalk. Back inside, we did an activity where we used construction paper and macaroni to make pieces of art. I tried to find out what uncooked macaroni tastes like, and it tastes like nothing! I saw that Cindy made a very detailed art piece with lots of macaroni. We went to the office and I read some more Wayside School chapters to Cindy before Dad picked me up. At home, I made a new Super Mario Odyssey video, and this is my latest video performance as of February 23rd. As you can see, my video is doing very well. I told Cindy about this video and she said she'd watch both this video and my weekly journal video. I also watched Zebra Gamer play Super Mario Odyssey. Lately I haven't been motivated to watch his video series since I'm not always comfortable watching other people make mistakes while playing games. I started watching episode 10 of his video series and it was amazing so far. It was also a brand new experience, even though it was released six years ago. I also started watching the Super Mario Odyssey full game walkthrough by the same zebra to catch up on what he did so far since I started watching this series in August. These videos are compilations of his previous episodes and from what I know, he started doing this in 2022, so that means some of his full game walkthroughs were made many years later. I'm also thinking of playing a game I haven't played a lot so of so far. It's called Sonic Frontiers and I got this for my birthday. I started this the following day on August 18th. It's similar to Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild since it's an open world game, but I'm still getting used to controlling Sonic in an open world. I'm thinking of playing this game this weekend, but in the meantime, I started listening to the Sonic Frontiers soundtrack. I like how this is split into discs, like certain albums on the video game music website. I can't believe it took until this month for this feature to be on Spotify, but it does take me back to the good old times listening to music this way. Hopefully today will be a great end to this week. Yesterday, I got picked up early from school at 12 o'clock because I had a doctor's appointment. At the Champions program, I only saw two named helpers, Robert and Mr. Keith. Miss Claire also came into a room sometimes. 
It was a rainy day yesterday, so we didn't go outside. I read a book, and then we ate some snacks. We walked and talked on our track, and then we watched a movie. It had been two months since we saw the last movie at the Champions Program. Yesterday, we watched Shrek, and it was an interesting movie. One interesting part was when Shrek was afraid to take off his helmet since he didn't want Princess Fiona finding out that he's an ogre. I listened to music and I waited a really long time to get picked up. I waited until 6 o'clock and everyone else went home by the time my parents came. I also heard that Tracy was supposed to be there, but something happened and she couldn't come. At home, I played Sonic Frontiers. I tried it on August 18th, but I'll still count this as my first playthrough since I only got through Cyberspace 1-1 before. I also heard that there are Guardians in the game, which remind me of the Guardians in Breath of the Wild, especially since fighting the first one was tricky at first. So that wraps up a four day week at the Champions Program. It was a great week since I got to see Cindy most days, which totally makes up for not seeing her for two weeks. It was also a great week since I got to see Emma after a long time. And I got to see a movie after two months. Next week will be the last week of February, so hopefully I'll have a great month in March.